Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luis Chavez. I'm a photographer and filmmaker based out of Southern California. In this week's video, I wanna talk all about my desk setup. I think as creatives and as photographers or videographers, it's really important to have a desk or a workspace area that you feel very productive in. So that's kind of like my thesis around this whole setup. It's a little cluttered and um, you know, I think every space is different. Not everything needs to be super, super clean. And if you can see uh, my desk is not the cleanest, but I think everything that's on here is functional and it serves a purpose. The desk itself is actually just a wood countertop from Ikea and the the legs are also from Ikea. They worked out great so far. I didn't really do anything to it. I know some people like to treat it or sand it and then uh, varnish it or something like that, but it's been the same since I got it and it still looks brand new. I clean it every once in a while, but it's worked out for me so far. One thing I would like to upgrade is probably a sit-stand desk, but I'll probably just get legs for that because I really like the size and the length of this desk. I think just as it's important uh, in a desk setup as the desk is, I think it's equally important as the chair that you're using. And the chair that I you've been using for a couple of years now is the Herman Miller Aeron chair. It's a little pricey and I got it used uh, when the pandemic started. So uh, I found it on Facebook Marketplace. Someone had gotten rid of their office and they got rid of a bunch of office stuff. So I got this chair pretty much brand new. So these chairs are really, really expensive. So when I was looking around for it, there was no way I could uh, do a, a brand new one. The computer that powers my entire setup is a 2021 M1 14 inch MacBook Pro. It's not the base model, but it's not the super spec'd up one. It's like the mid tier one with a one terabyte hard drive. And I find that it's worked out for me so far very, very good. I am ever able to edit all my videos and all of my photos here with ease, especially since I'm doing a lot of 10-bit codecs with my cameras. So I shoot with the Sony a7 IV and I also shoot with the a7S III sometimes. So a lot of those codecs uh, require a lot of power and my old iMac Pro was already struggling with those codecs. So I wanted to upgrade to a computer that would handle those uh, very easily. And I'm able to edit all of my videos with ease, even with like a corrective LUT on there and it plays out pretty smoothly. So yeah, if you are an editor, I highly recommend this computer because it really has made my life so much better and so much faster to edit all these videos. Since I went with the 14 inch MacBook Pro, I want to have a display that I could keep on my desk and still be able to take my computer on the go. So I went with the studio display that came out, I think a couple months ago. And I know there's a lot of controversy around, uh, around this display. I'm used to iMacs, I'm used to Apple screens, and I like for everything to work uh, seamlessly together and I don't have to like fidget with anything. So it's worked out really, really well. This display is really bright. The speakers are awesome. It has built-in built speakers, so I don't have to clutter my desk with even more stuff. So it's awesome that everything's built in and it has a couple ports in the back so I can connect my computer. But if I wanna to connect any other peripherals, I can just do it from the back of the monitor. One thing I would highly recommend if you work out of a laptop, even if you don't have a two monitor setup, is a stand so you can elevate your laptop a little bit more. It helps a lot with um, posture. So I'm not like constantly looking down and I can see uh, both my monitors at, a, at the same height. And whenever I don't use it, I can just get rid of it and I get a good view into the living room. For my peripherals, it's like a mishmash of stuff. I have a, a uh, Apple trackpad that I've owned for many, many years, but I also have this full keyboard from my old iMac Pro. So I like to like recycle things if I have use for them. So I still have this keyboard, it's awesome, it's really big. And I still have a number pad, which I use more often than I thought I would. So I like having a full keyboard, uh, even though it takes up a lot more space, I like having uh, the number pad here as well. So the mouse that I use is the MX Master 3. And I know it's very popular with a lot of people to use this mouse and for good reason it's a great mouse it has tons of features it's very customizable and it has not only a, um, a scroll wheel like a traditional scroll wheel but it has another scroll wheel that i can use to um, swipe from side to side like through a timeline on final cut pro so it's a feature that i use all the time and i don't think i can get used to a different mouse for that i have used the magic mouse in the past but i find that the ergonomics are not the best so i sometimes i use that one if i want to use handoff between my my I'm with between my Apple computers, but I find that it's kind of cumbersome, so I always come back with to the MX Master Three. 
So moving along to audio, and like I said, the display has speakers built in already, but I hardly ever use them. Most of the time I'm using headphones, and the headphones that I like to use are either the AirPods 3 or the uh, AirPods Max. And, you know, both of these uh, headphones are used for different sp specific cases. AirPods 3 usually are the ones that I'm using for anything like music or a podcast, but if I'm mixing anything, I usually use the AirPods Max, and not necessarily because they're so much better sound-wise, but I like to have noise-canceling headphones when I edit just so I can focus, and I find that the sound is neutral enough so that it's not distracting. So some of the other things I have on my desk is a wireless charger from Anchor, and I really like this charger because it's MagSafe, so I'm able to charge my phone and it's propped up and I can see it, but also has a, a little base in the back for AirPods, so I can charge both at the same time and I always have all my devices charged. On my desk is also a USB hub that I've had for many years. It's the CalDigit 3, and I used to have this when I had uh, the, Mac, the older MacBook Pro that I don't have a card slot, but also um, when... Apple went to USB-C, I still wanted some USB-A, so it was really helpful to have. I don't use it as much anymore because of the display I can um, connect directly to them. So it's nice to have, that way I have a bunch of ports if I need them. On my desk is also this really big leather desk mat that I got from Amazon. It's like, it was like 15 bucks and I just wanted a big clean surface so um, to put all my peripherals, but also I like to work on all my hobbies on my desk. So it was important for me to have a, a clean area for me to work on that. So I, on my free time, I like to, work on Lego sets. So it's it was important for me to be able to get rid of all this stuff and still have a clean surface for me to, you know, put together these sets. In terms of file management, I like to work in drives of two. So I have two editing drives that I have on my current projects. I have two backup drives that I put everything on it and I have two archival drives. So every, once everything's edited and I'm done with them, it goes in that, but I also have an offsite drive for all of my important stuff. Everything that I'm currently working on, it's offsite, but also, like to be redundant, so I have all my most important projects on a, a cloud drive as well. All my drives are Western Digital drives, except for my editing drives, there are these Samsung drives, and I have a bunch of these because they're super fast for editing, but also they're super tiny, so if I'm ever doing anything remotely, I can take a couple of these and have everything backed up in two drives as well. So if you notice, I also have an iMac on my desk, a 2021 iMac, which is not my personal computer, it's the family computer. My Wife does a lot of work from home stuff, so she does um, stuff here from time to time. So it's nice for her to have a clean space for her to also work on. We don't usually work at the same time, so sharing the space works out really great for us. And it's a great computer. It's so much smaller than the old iMac Pro that I used to have, and it's so much thinner, so it doesn't take up too much space. On my desk is also an iPad mini, and I wish I could also say that I use it for productivity, like make, taking notes and stuff like that, but all I use it for is to edit photos from time to time, but it's mostly used for a baby monitor. So I take the night shift with my son, so my son is only six months old, so it's nice that I can have a baby monitor that has an app and I can just use my iPad mini for that as well. So it's always on my desk, but it's mostly used as a baby monitor. On my desk is also a stand for my headphones, which look really great. And I wanted something that was still pretty minimal. So I got this off of Amazon as well. And I really like the look of it. So yeah, that's my whole setup. I, it's like a mishmash of stuff, but it works really great for me. And I find that when I like my workspace, I'm more productive. So it's worked out really, really great. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're looking for um, like uh, inspiration to change your stuff up or if you just like to watch a bunch of that set of videos like I do, hopefully you enjoyed it. But yeah, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.